welcome back to my channel and happy Tuesday. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a super fun and exciting tutorial. It's very exciting for me just because I finally got this <laughs> down packed and I'm going to tell you guys what I'm talking about. So let's just go ahead and get started. Today we are going to be making some little envelopes using the We Are Memory Keepers punch board. I don't think I've ever done a tutorial on how to use this gorgeous punch up board from we are memory keepers and that's because when i first got it for the life of me my envelopes kept coming out so wrong so crooked and i'm like what is going on they are so discombobulated and again it's because of the measurements and it just i had such a hard time and then i realized i know what i'm doing wrong and i want to help you guys so that you guys use this tool because it really is a great tool to have you can create all kinds of envelopes in all different sizes and these are the ones that i created um today um while i was <laughs> working and um i also created the little cards that go inside them and i think these are so fun just to have you know you can make a whole bunch of these and all the maybe you want to do five of the same size five of the smaller size five of the larger size and just keep them in a little box and then when you're ready to give them to a friend or a relative or just to anyone in general then you just go through your little box pick out your little envelopes and then boom you don't have to buy one because you already have one custom made yourself so here is the we are memory keepers punch tool and this is the envelope punch this is actually the older version because the newer version is like a white one with this uh, teal color and it's a gorgeous tool to have like I said and it tells you everything that you have to do it shows you what it's gonna look like the final result it has the little punch so that you can round your corners and then it has this little part right here so that you can round your edges it has your scoring line your scoring direction your measurements and I think the um, new one has an arm that actually extends if I'm not mistaken um, but then over here it gives you the directions steps one through nine and then it gives you all kinds of sizes that you can do so the card size would be the card that's in the middle so that's this first column and then the paper size is the paper that you're going to use to make the actual envelope and then the score line is the third column which is where you're going to be scoring so i'm going to show you guys how i created these super cute little ones I love it. I'm obsessed now that I know how to actually work it. <laughs> yes. Um, don't you get excited when you learn how to work a new tool. But um, I have a lot. Um, I would say I have a good amount of We Are Memory Keepers punch tools. I have the banner punch. I have the one that makes like little Polaroids. I have <laughs> um, the alpha letters. I think the larger one and the smaller one and maybe a few others and they're like i said they're really fun to have and they're perfect for a crafty person and they're even good if you're a planner girl because you can make these little envelopes and just put them into your planner and use it to stick like little notes make a little dashboard you know that would be really cute too so again you can use this in all kinds of ways if you're the kind of person that loves snail mail and just sharing happy mail with your friends and exchanging mail then this is another great way for you to do it so let's go ahead and start the first thing you're going to need is obviously your little tool and you know I know a lot of people out there have this board and know how to use it and there's probably a lot of tutorials out there but I'm going to show you guys how I learned it myself and where my mistake was that way maybe you know your mistake is the same mistake as mine maybe that's not what you're getting and there's a lot of new planners and crafters out there in the world this community has been here for quite a bit but there's people who really just only discovered it you know like me I didn't discover the planning and crafting community until maybe about four years ago officially so you know it's good to help people out and you know to any of my new viewers if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel hope you've been enjoying my videos and if you're new watching i hope you like this video and if you want to see more i hope you decide to subscribe to my channel it really really helps me out and yes so the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna need some paper the paper of your choice 
So this is the paper pattern that I used for this. It was a 12 by 12 and I was able to get these little three envelopes and I can even make probably one more little tiny one, maybe like a 5 by 5 And I got all these three using a 12 by 12 with the gold foil polka dots. So today I'm going to be using this one. It's going to be like little Paris themes. And then you want a solid paper for the inside of your card. So for all three of them, I did pink ones because I thought they matched nicely. And well, who doesn't like pink, right? Everybody loves pink. So I'm going to show you guys how to make the cards as well. That way you're not confused as to how to do it. So I have my pink card. Then I have my main paper. And then I have some decorative pieces. And then the only other thing I have are my little enamels and adhesives because... I feel like rhinestones make everything better. <laughs> I feel like pearls, rhinestones, bling, they make everything better. And then these are the ones that I used for these. These are the little die cuts from the Planner Society. And I had quite a bit, so I figured why not just put them on here and I think they match perfectly. So here's this one right here. And then here's this one. And then I can always put two and then from or you can always put the two and from in the back and then here's this one isn't that cute oh, I love them then I have my adhesive any type of adhesive works fine your bone folder usually comes with it on the side in here just like that a small pair of scissors and a pencil and any type of ruler or a paper trimmer as well paper trimmer I use is my Fiskars one it's <laughs> I love it it's my favorite one so far but we're going to start right here. Let's put our paper down and then let's figure out which size we want to do. So I'm going to do this one with you guys. I believe this is the 6x6. Six six. Yep, 6x6. Six six. And then the card is 3x4. So one of the um, tricky things about this is you definitely have to have your measurements on point. So here we're going to look. Here is the 6x6 six six paper size. That's what we're going to cut it down to. And then the card for the inside is going to be a 3 by 4 That's what we're going to cut it down to. And then our score line is going to be 2 and 5 eighths. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, I have this recollections mat. It's my baby. I've had it um, ever since I kind of started planning. It has all the measurements for me. And I just truly, truly love this mat. A lot of people ask me where I bought it from. It's from Michael's. And I think it's somewhere around $12.99. So let's go ahead and start. The first thing we're going to do is measure. So six inches wide, right? And we're going to go ahead and cut. When I finally got this down packed, you guys, I was so excited. I was like, yes, finally. Like what on earth? It took you forever. Because <laughs> it really did take me a while to get this down. Uh, and it was just that one little thing that I did wrong, which I'll explain. So here we got six inches, six inches. So we're going to cut again. Perfect. And now we have two six by six, right? So then the one thing we're going to go ahead and do now is punch. Now, we have our six by six right here. And it says our scoring line is at two by two and five eighths. And if it tells you right here, first you're going to select your card size, which we did, six by six. Then it says you're going to trim your paper down to the correct size, which we already did that. Then it's going to say align the left edge to the score line measurement. That's where I got it wrong, you guys. That's where I got it wrong. Instead of aligning my left edge, I kept aligning my right. I kept going this way. Right? So 2 and 5 eighths is right here. I would put the paper right here. And somehow... I thought that like I would have to like how did I do it oh I did it this way there we go 
I did it this way because I'm like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. So I would put two and five eighths working right instead of working left. So what you got to do is take your left corner. Here's the two inch mark. And then you got one eighth, one fourth, three eighths, one two and five eighths. We're going to put our paper right there, right on the line. Then you're going to punch. Then you're going to score. And then the next step, it says punch and score, rotate the paper, align it with the score line. So you're going to align this little lever right here with your line. You don't have to measure anymore, so don't worry about using this. I've made that mistake before too. As soon as you're aligned, go ahead and punch and score again. And then you're going to turn it over, align that line with that little knob right there. Punch, score. Line again, punch, and score. So remember, you only have to measure it once. Once that measurement is done, then all you do is just rotate and punch, rotate and punch, but make sure you're aligning this score line with this little nozzle right here. The little arrow is right there too. So that's what it looks like. And then another thing is that I was like, wait, this doesn't look right, it looks weird. So you have to kind of know your envelope sizes and just kind of look at it this way and be like, oh, it's a rectangle, it's not a square, right? So the other thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna put it in here, it's a little corner rounder. And look at how cute that rounds your corners. And do it to all four sides right perfect so we're gonna put that to the side and then we'll assemble let's go ahead and do the same thing over here left corner two inches and then one two three four five to the five eighths there we go punch and score and then rotate and punch and score my boyfriend always tells me you never read directions right it always takes you like five or ten times for you to read them in order for you to like really see how it goes and he's like because you're the kind of person that just likes to do it and <laughs> not read directions like I just like to figure it out on my own I like to figure it out like how it works and that's just me that's See, that one looks... Oh, I didn't punch it. I was like, wait, why does that look odd? Perfect. Punch. And there we go. So now we have two. Let's go ahead and round our four corners. So remember, the secret is to work to your left and not to your right. To your left, right? All right, so let's go ahead and put this over here and then let's fold. So now you're just taking all of your four corners and you're folding them in together to assemble your little envelope. You want to make sure you definitely have your um, paper facing the right direction. So you can either do it this way, right, this way, or you can do it this way. So depending however you like the flowers. I like the flowers this way, and so that's what the envelope looks like. Now, one little thing that I do don't like, I don't like this little circle to peek out, so what I do, I just cut it. Either I cut it or I fold it in so that it's a little straight line. That's a preference though. If you don't want to do that, <laughs> don't worry about it. You don't have to. But that's just kind of how I prefer it. And by all means, it's never perfect. It's just a cut line. There we 
go. So that's what it'll look like. And if you want to do that, then go for it. Then we're going to go ahead and add our adhesive. I don't add it straight to the middle. I only do it to the sides because you don't want the middle to close down. And there you have it. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, I love it. Then the way you can close it is you can add either like a little puffy sticker, you can add little bling, right? Just put the bling right on there, a nice big one, or you can put Velcro and it'll close nicely. So those are a few options for closing your envelope. So we're gonna leave that now that's done. We're gonna do the same thing over here. You want your nice little creases. They even have a gift card size on here, so if you want to use it for gift cards. And then the sizes get bigger, so you can do a much bigger envelope, like a 10 by 10 or 11 and a half by 11 and a half. It just all depends what kind of card or envelope you prefer. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it right here. Just like that. And it's a little crooked, so I'm going to try to align it. There we go. Maybe a little bit more. Right here. And now we're going to go ahead and add our adhesive again. And this is my ATG gun. It's an advanced tape lighter. Abbreviation is ATG. That's how it's known. And it's by Scotch. And I also got it at Michael's. Perfect. See? So <laughs> there you have it. Two envelopes. And now we're going to go ahead and make our little cards. So let's see. Our card size is going to be 3 by 4 So we're just going to use this. And let's bring out the mat a little bit. So we got one, two, three inches wide. One, two, one, two, three. So to the six, I'm gonna do two of them at the same time. Then we got six and three. So let's go ahead and cut. And the card itself, you can decorate it however you want. That's completely up to you. If you don't want to decorate it, you can just write something nice in it and send it to your friend, add a little sticker, and you are all set. All right, so now that we have two, we need to cut it down to four inches. So in height. So we got four, four. And then we're going to do the same thing here. Four and four. I hope I'm not going too fast. If you guys have any questions, feel free to always email me or message me on Instagram. You can always find me on there. There we go. Just cut that piece off. There we go. And now we have two cards of three by four. If you want to write them down like I did, right here I wrote six by six and three by four. That way I don't forget what it's like. But if I send it to somebody, then I'll obviously erase it. You can always round your corners, two of you choose. So I'll just do one just so that you guys can see. It also helps to take away the pencil mark. Like that right so you can have a nice clean card oh my god i love that actually the rounding the corner makes it so much better isn't that tool amazing so that's what that looks like when the corners are rounded and then that's what it looks like when they're nice and squared and then we're going to go ahead and test it out look at how perfect that fits Yay! Oh my gosh, that's awesome. 
I love it. I'm going to be making so many of these. All right, so the last step is we're going to go ahead and decorate these babies. We might as well. I'm going to go ahead and use this little sheet that I have right here. These have little pull-apart cards, and I figure the sizes match, look like they'll fit perfectly, so we might as well. That way so you guys can see how it all comes together. So I'm going to use these little ones right here. use my paper trimmer because I always want to make sure that I'm cutting everything nice and straight no matter what it is so we're gonna use this one and then we'll also use this one the one that says I love Paris and then I even have enough if I wanted to do another one or even a larger one Alright, so let's see how that goes. Put our paper aside. Let's just grab the tools we need at this point, like our little bead. And then if I wanted to even add one of these, I could. It'll probably look nice, so let's see. So that fits just like right on. I think I'm going to round the corners. Let's see. And you don't have to decorate them, definitely, if you don't want to. If you want to leave it like that and write to whoever, from whoever, you can definitely do that. Or thank you or something, you can definitely do that too. I feel like decorating it just gives it a cuter touch. So that's why I'm doing it. And if I was to put the two in from, I think I would do it in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and put this here. And for this, I would even do a little 3D pop-up foam. So let me grab it. You guys know I love using my little 3D foam. So I'm going to go ahead and use it on all four sides. That way you can tell the difference with the patterns. And then we'll do... Go ahead and take this out. And all our little foamies are on there. Let's go ahead and lay this down. Perfect. Look at how cute that is. You see that little pop? I feel like it makes it so much better and you could see the difference between both patterns. So now if I want to bling it up a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and add my little pearls because you guys know I love bling. Sorry, I had a phone interruption there. <laughs> I'm cooking um, something in the crock pot and my alarm just went off to go turn it off. Perfect. And you can even just do that, something as simple as that. Maybe add a little one right here. Look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's cute. Then we have our little card. So there's that one, you guys. That one's all set. All right, let's go ahead and finish this one up. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to round my corners. Again, I just really like that look. And then I think for this one, I'll probably add a girl. And I think she's cute. Let's go ahead and add her. Let's see. Something like that. All right, let's go ahead and do that. There we go. 
now. And cut this off. And look at how cute that is. Oh my god, I love it. And then we're going to add a little hint of pink bling. Let's go ahead and put one right here. And then we'll do the other one on this side. And there we have it, you guys. That is the second card. Hopefully you guys can see it. Sorry, there's reflection. Here's the other one. And then here's this one. Here's this little tiny one. <laughs> and then here's this one right here. And again, we created all of these using my super awesome We Are Memory Keepers punch tool, envelope punch tool. That's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you have any requests for me, leave it in the comments down below. If you have any questions about today's tutorial, feel free to email me. I love you guys so much and hope you have a great day and keep staying safe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!